Hello there, wherever you are, welcome to a new section of your program is Visions with the new topic that we just we bring it here inside the studio with the new very dear guests inside the studio. So welcome to the show. It can be seen here that education it is very, very long, slowly complicated process and it is the only way for guarantee good future for generations. However, as you know, as operation, education could take different phases among the time. You know, regardless to the different factors of the, the current situation could take place and that given specific form for, for education among the curriculum with the schools and different education institutes. So for sure, education is now, it is a little different from the past and it is my pleasure to bring here inside the studio very, a very dear guest inside the studio and all the time, at the same time he was are weaknesses for the education in that time. So we're going to talk about the education, particularly the education environment, and after this break we start out. Be with us. Welcome once again to the show, and it is my pleasure to give you very dear inside the studio. We'd love to give you Dr. Tayyip Dawal Bait Thank, Thank you, you for joining me. How is it? Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me inside the city. So, could you please just tell us about yourself, where you grow? Well, well uh, I'm Tayyip Tolbeid Babikir and Naji. I was born uh, in Shawal, mm -hmm. White Nile province. Actually, Shawal lies on the eastern bank of the White Nile, mm -hmm. halfway between Dwayne mm -hmm. and Kosti. Mm -hmm. Although both, uh, you know, Dwayne and Kosti are mm -hmm. on the western bank of the river. I had my elementary education at that mm -hmm. time, at the Shawal time, mm -hmm. uh, town itself. Uh, Shawal uh, town was my birthplace and was a town where I went to school. Then I went to Al Kawa Intermediate School. Oh, yeah, I know it. Uh, then Duem White Nile Secondary School. Uh, yeah. The city of the keys. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah. Interestingly, I went to Duem twice. Uh, first as secondary school student and then secondly as a teacher trainee at Bakht wow. I mean ITTI, yeah, uh, yeah. Intermediate Teacher Training Institute, very famous uh, teacher training institute. Yes. yes, That's really very brilliant career Thank that you, you have, very much. All right. Thank you. Uh, you've been in that time, so for sure you have very nice background about the environment of education in yes. that time. For sure it's a little different from right now. So. How do you describe uh, the education environment in the past? In that well, well, I think uh, by comparison, uh, the environment of education in the past, uh, when I was a school child, mm -hmm. was much, much better than it is now. Mm -hmm. uh, for many reasons. First, because uh, there were very few schools at that time. And so the Minister of Education uh, could afford, I mean, providing these schools with the facilities, with uh, you know, everything necessary, the, the aids, the world pictures, you know, everything uh, necessary for education or the environment of education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, of course, too many schools. Uh, oh yeah, what about the situation right now? What about this kind oh, well, well, I mean, now it's, uh, if you look at the level of education or the standard of students, I think the standard has deteriorated. Mm -hmm. And for many reasons, first, uh, in the past, there were always, uh, you know, specialists, trained and professional teachers who mm -hmm. uh, used to teach in the schools. Mm -hmm. uh, now this is lacking mm -hmm. because um, there are teacher, you know, training institute like Bakhtaruda, uh, like in service uh, education training institute, mm -hmm. were closed. Yeah. And instead of having, uh, you know, uh, teacher trained for two years either in Bakhtaruda or now they have, uh, you know, courses for just twelve or mm -hmm. two weeks, which is not enough to qualify or train a teacher uh, to teach. This is one reason. And the second reason is that uh, students themselves are lazy here these, wow. these days. This is because in the past, uh, the, as I said, uh, you know, there were very few schools. So there was sort of very strong competition. Mm -hmm. I mean, to move from the elementary school to the intermediate school, you, you had to be a genius, very clever, mm -hmm. working hard. Uh, in Kosi, there were just two intermediate schools, Amiria Intermediate School and Al Ahliya Intermediate School. Mm -hmm. uh, there were just 80 vacancies 
I mean, a, a class would not exceed mm -hmm. more than 40 uh, students at that time. Oh, yeah. So uh, 80, for these 80 uh, chances, uh, about more than 200 or 300, you know, mm -hmm. competed. To, to, to be uh, admitted. So hard because to of that lack of the yes, with a yes. big amount, I mean, big number of the yes, people. Yes, so, so there was that competition mm -hmm. uh, made it necessary for you know our pupils or students to work hard mm -hmm. to move from one level to another. Mm -hmm. But now, I mean, education in general has become easier. Mm -hmm. Many schools are available, and uh, if uh, a student cannot be, you know. Uh, accepted or admitted in yes. university, mm -hmm. governmental universities, there are private universities, oh, yeah. there are also private schools. So, mm -hmm. so students today sort of, they just relax. They don't have to work hard. Everything is easy. Particular, you know, in that time, really, you know, yes. I remember when my fathers come to talk <laughs> yes. to school yes, in a family. Yes. You know about the education and making a comparison between now and that part. Yes. Particular when people come and digging for information in yes. a different field yes. and making exchange, they have a poster within the school. Yes, it's pictures, nice and it's flash really it's something with so much fun yes. and, and people working uh, so hard, in, like in work team. Yes, they had mm -hmm. to work. Uh, I mean, very hard because, as they say, you know, very strong competition. Mm -hmm. So the availability, uh, the fact that our schools are available in every state and mm -hmm. even universities, either governmental or private, uh, ma makes things easier for yes, the students. Yes, uh, yes. Th th they can easily, I mean, go okay. to a school or, or university. Uh, okay, uh, the question that's about the, the, the importance of the un mm -hmm. class activities. Mm -hmm. I mean, school is not just like, all right, I'm going to have a lesson, there is a yes. picture inside the class, there is something else. You know, students yes, have to do in order to improve his charisma and his character, to learn more skills that will be very good for his lifestyle and coming coming life. And before yeah. I told you, uh, I, I yeah. mean, I ask you about the importance of these activities. Yes. I, I, I need you just to tell me about the activities outside of the class yeah, when you were a student we, in yes, that time. Yes, so we used to do a lot of activities, outside mm -hmm. activities. Uh, as far as uh, language, English language is concerned, of course, yeah. people generally learn languages to use them mm. and not in the classroom. Yeah. Uh, using the language in the classroom is artificial, mm. but uh, the most important thing is to, to learn how to use language outside the classroom. Yeah. And that's why we did a lot of activities. We, we had seminars, we, we, we had uh, societies, the English society, we had debates, we had conferences. We, we, we used to go on picnics, for example, wow, visiting other schools, beautiful. competition, uh, writing, you know, stories, yeah. even poems. Uh, so we did a lot of outside uh, activities to mm. support mm. Uh, what we are learning inside the classroom. Yeah. And also, the, the, don't forget the seyata. Oh, the seyata yeah. also oh. played a very important role. And in English, uh, culturally speaking, yes. they participate yes, in English yes, plays. In, in English, of course. It's so rare yes, to find uh, some plays in English. Now, yeah. Uh, you know, students used to act, for example, Shakespeare's plays wow, on the sea. That's <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Yeah. And uh, people, I mean, uh, did enjoy these mm -hmm. activities uh, when they came to school and, uh, you know, watched these plays, mm -hmm. you know, being acted on the sea. Mm -hmm. So we, we did a lot of uh, activities out of. Uh, the classroom and this activity actually, yes. you know, uh, help. I, even people, uh, me myself, you know, yes. uh, to speak frankly, uh, you know, I get so maximum benefit from reading some literature, you know, within yes. the curriculum for Charles Dickens, yes. one of the global yes. writers in that time, yes. besides the Shakespeare and different yeah. English writers, really, they yeah, yeah, give yeah, very yeah, nourish. Yes, yeah. yeah, so in this you aspect, know, uh, uh, we, we read a lot of, a lot of, uh, many, many books uh, at the intermediate mm -hmm. school, yeah. and uh, teachers used to ask us to summarize. Yeah. I mean, teachers read all the books, the literature mm -hmm. books in the school. So when you, you finish the book, the teacher would say, could you summarize it uh, mm. for me? When you summarize it, then he would give you the other one. Of course. So, and there was a competition. I mean, there was sort of a uh, prize mm. for the student who read, uh, you know, uh, gre the greatest number of books within the semester. Uh, so there was sort of competition wow, as far as reading literature books, summarizing them, uh, acting plays on the theater. Mm. Uh, these activities actually, uh, when, you know, 
together, complement yeah, it course, to each other. Yeah. Yes. And, and I think this is really what, what, what I need right now. All right. Yeah. Um, mm. So uh, I think it's so much uh, activities that can be uh, achieved and being, yes. you know, practiced like among the schools. So what do you think the importance of these activities for the student? Yes, to develop, uh, for example, the uh, students, you know, ability to mm -hmm. communicate with other people, yeah. uh, to enable the students to express themselves, I mean, very clearly, and to listen to other people, to understand what mm -hmm. people say, uh, different views, uh, you know, uh, different cultures also when they, they read, mm -hmm. for example, literature mm -hmm. book, they know a lot about the culture of uh, English people and the lifestyles of uh, these people yeah. and this will help to understand english language uh, you know better mm -hmm. okay so back to reality and talking about the student you know within this era uh, what do you think the skills that they miss now well i, I mean the, the, the most important skill that they have to have or to gain is communication mm -hmm. the ability to communicate with, with other yes. people that's why, you know, people generally learn languages to, to communicate with them. Of course. But unfortunately, this is a problem mm -hmm. because our students are too shy to speak in front of an audience, mm -hmm. even in front of their uh, colleagues, for example, in the class or mm -hmm. in the lecture hall. And, uh, and, and they also feel very, uh, I mean, uh, a, a passive in, 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 mm -hmm. in participating in English societies, English mm -hmm. clubs. Uh, unfortunately, though we have uh, always native speakers like Patrick and oh, Joe, very every nice every year, yeah. yes, or mm -hmm. every time we had at least two uh, to help them with you know with English language in terms of communication, speaking, accent, pronunciation, and so mm -hmm. on. But very few uh, students who contact these native speakers, mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, this is a problem. Speaking is a problem now for our students because simply they feel shy and uh, they are not active, they are mm. not, you know, uh, ambitious, oh, I mean, to cool. be able to improve <laughs> them. They, they don't go to the library, very few. And really, this is something library. very confusing for me because, you know, when you come to the, to the guys and ask him, okay, do you really, really want to improve your, your levels and, I mean, your, your English, he said, really, I have very huge desire just yes, to have uh, some. It. And when we come to reality, and, uh, and that's why many people yes. that I know, they join the English classes for communication. Yes, and, and uh, we have a and very, mm. very good, uh, I mean, but uh, very few. Mm. In every class, you find outstanding, sort of, you know, very clever. And why this outstanding come from? What, what the problem? Well, well I think because uh, lack of practice. Mm -hmm. Language re re needs practice, of course. So because they don't practice, I mean, language, even uh, within, you know, mm -hmm. the activities in the classroom, asking, asking questions, commenting mm -hmm. on, uh, they just, you know, keep silent. Yes. And these shy yes. students can mm -hmm. never develop their communication ability. Uh, but I think some are very good. We have very good. We might mm -hmm. have noticed some of them yeah. whom you interviewed here. Yeah. Uh, and but very few. And really, just very few. You know, let me send very warm, warm greeting for for the student of the English uh, department yes. in the Faculty of Education in Kassala University, yes. because really, the majority of sessions that we had, uh, you know, among this dear society Great. are students, yes. and really, I feel so appreciated because yes. I have that interview yes, with I, them, I, I, because yeah. they are student comes with the very high ambitions yes, and yes, just try. Yes to improve themselves yes. and guess I am what they very proud yeah. of uh, many of my students yes. but unfortunately not all of them yeah. uh, some are very good uh, mm -hmm. they are very interested they are very keen to develop they are very keen to participate yes. and yes. they like english language as a subject mm -hmm. and that's why they devote most of the time you know working hard mm -hmm. either through seminars or uh, debate uh, societies, English society, the club. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's yeah. why the, the university are mm. so aware about this matter and about yes. this issue because all the time they bring a foreign people yes, and these uh, volunteers in order to help them, yeah, to, to chat with them, speak, yeah. right? And they befriend them. Uh, they do, I, I mean, uh, raise uh, mm. the communication ability yes. among our students mm. uh, very much indeed. Yeah. They help them. Yeah, people need working so hard. Yes, All right, okay, Joe. let's come back. And this is my favorite question. <laughs> yes. I'm waiting to ask you yes, about it. Yes, yes, welcome. Uh, Dr. Taib, outside of the university, I mean, in a free time, what do you do? Well, uh, as a teacher, uh, I'm very interested to watch uh, English channels mm -hmm. on, on TV. 
because I'm learning, still I'm learning. I learn. Oh, Whenever really I listen to a native speaker, yeah. I always, you know, uh, gain something new mm -hmm. in terms of accent, in terms of pronunciation, in terms of, and I advise my students to watch mm -hmm. these English uh, channels to, to see how uh, native speakers use their language, of course, how yeah. they pronounce it. So uh, whenever I have free time, I just, you know, uh, watch these uh, mm -hmm. TV channels, certain programs like uh, The Motion, for example. Mm, very interesting uh, very well known program, show, very famous, know. very well known. I mean, always uh, introduces very uh, important topics, yes. either agricultural, uh, you know, environmental, mm. political, social. And then uh, people are asked uh, from different countries, uh, you know, mm. uh, some are uh, inside the studio, yes. and some, uh, I mean, give their answers through the very interesting topic. And uh, 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 as you might have uh, seen at the end, you know, there is sort of voting. Mm -hmm. So either you agree or disagree. Wow, that's good. Right? Yeah. Very interesting mm -hmm. because uh, people come with their justifications why they think their views are correct. Mm -hmm. uh, so you learn from these people about different topics, uh, right? Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, it's very important for uh, a language uh, student or language teacher. Mm -hmm. to be in contact with native speakers mm, yes. even through these channels if, if not in person yes uh, and yes. even that's why you know uh, uh, in the previous uh, sessions that we had uh, yes. with our guests uh, you know we're talking about the learning english language because the language all the time it is meet environment yes you see so Fascinous. Here, you know, if you want to, to learn this language, you have to go to the environment of the people who speak this one as mother tongue. But, yes. you know, according to the economic situation, yes, it's so expensive to go to London or things. to go. Uh, but among the English t uh, English TVs, uh, channel TVs, and among uh, like the program, the emotion, for example, yes. the hard talk in yes, the TV. So people can yes. get used uh, to get Saka. Mad, Saka. watching a movie. Yes, all a very interesting about that. That's program. Yes, yeah. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. So I think the best way is to uh, to take, I mean, the students to native speak, yes. speaking, you know, ca countries like Britain, but it's uh, almost yes. a, it's yeah. very difficult. It's not <laughs> a, it, yeah, costly, exactly. expensive, yeah. takes time. Yeah, come uh, on. Yes, so money, <laughs> right? Expensive fortune nowadays. Yes, yes, yeah. and that's why uh, to compensate for this, uh, now universities uh, bring these volunteers mm -hmm. like Patrick and Joe, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, to help the students with English. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly with you know pronunciation yes. and, and then communication ability and so on and really you know let me just give them uh, mm -hmm. a very nice greeting you know for coming here voluntarily to, you know to help people here in Sudan particular the students yes. uh, within English language I think this is something that is most appreciated that yes. we have to thank yes. them a lot these volunteers for they are doing really a great nice, favor yeah. Yeah. To, to Sudan actually you know, yes. to our and I can Sudan. imagine many people yes. won't forget yes. uh, for the efforts that they've done all right Yes. Before mm -hmm. uh, you come here to Kassala University, uh -huh. and I think they are like a university because they have a doctor. Thank you very much. Really. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me about the uh, station before you come uh, to Kassala University. Uh, well, well uh, actually, uh, basically, uh, I started my career as a teacher at uh, you know uh, intermediate school at that time, mm -hmm. not basic school. Mm -hmm. And I, I started, uh, I mean, this uh, profession, mm -hmm. Kurdufan, Murawa in particular. Mm -hmm. and, and then I went and had my basic teacher training at Bakhtaroda. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I went to a sort of uh, in-service teacher training uh, mm -hmm. course, University of Khartoum, two years. After that, we opened uh, a teacher training institute, mm -hmm. in-service education and training institute, mm -hmm. just like uh, the one here in Kassala, yes. in Kursi. That mm -hmm. was in 1983 up to 19. 93, this mm -hmm. is the year when I came to, ca to Kassara. Mm -hmm. That institute actually offered me scholarships first to uh, mm -hmm. Bedford International College okay. for courses, mm -hmm. and then uh, another to Lancaster University mm -hmm. uh, for doing my research. It was a very rich uh, experience because mm -hmm. I met a lot of uh, overseas students oh, coming overseas, from different yeah. countries, mm -hmm. different cultures, mm -hmm. uh, different accents even different approaches to learning language. Wow. So uh, I, I think that gave me a sort of, uh, you know, experience, mm -hmm. uh, richness uh, in my uh, vision yes. of uh, English mm -hmm. as an uh, international language spoken. We all uh, use English language, wow, different yeah. nationals, but at tea breaks and inside mm -hmm. the lecture halls, 
the common language was English yeah. because the Chinese uh, didn't know Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know <laughs> German, right? So the common language, you know, yeah. the means of communication among us all the students, mm -hmm. overseas students, yes. was English language. And, and this, of course, shows the importance of this language mm, as international. Yeah. It is yeah, international. Because it's spoken worldwide. Mm, yes. Okay, you, you told me, you know, before we come here in the city, you told me about your journey in UK. I think you've been there in London for a while. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So just tell me about that journey. Well, well um, very interesting. And sometimes, the friends uh, that you have, uh, yes, uh, the wee thing that you made. And yes, uh, very interesting. That, that was uh, the first, you know, uh, travel by, by, uh, by plane, mm -hmm. uh, British Airways. The first stop. Wow. And uh, next to me, very high we're, we're, cloud. <laughs> yes, we had a couple <laughs> coming from South Africa, very yeah. polite people. Elderly people, and they, they greeted me. I said, uh, uh, "Are you a student or a businessman?" Because Jenny people go to Britain mm -hmm. either for business or for education. Mm -hmm. And I was wearing, you know, full suit, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Because wow, I, that's good. Uh, that, that was in January. Mm -hmm. You know, very, very, uh, very cold weather. Mm -hmm. And they told me uh, that they were coming from South Africa because their daughter was, uh, you know, uh, married there. Mm -hmm. She had uh, two children, and they couldn't see her for all that long time. Oh, yeah. uh, so they were very happy uh, seeing the, uh, their daughter and their mm -hmm. uh, grandchildren. Uh, what was interesting when, when breakfast was brought to us? Yeah. Some kind of food, I didn't know how. <laughs> 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 Honestly speaking, uh, yeah. they were sitting on my left. Yeah. I just looked uh, through the corner of my eyes. Whenever they opened something, I did the same. <laughs> <and then laughs> Wow, that's Only after nice weeks thing. and weeks, I, yeah. I, I, I got, you know, yeah. uh, you know, over this problem. Yeah. I knew these kinds of food and was, <laughs> was it wow. a drink or it's hot. Right? Actually, it's something <laughs> very, very strange. Very uh, different and very strange. Yeah. Uh, some kind, uh, some kind, kinds of, I didn't, uh, you know, were not touched by the, the couple. Mm -hmm. I didn't touch them because I didn't know. Oh, uh, really? I don't want to be embarrassed uh, doing something <laughs> wrong. <laughs> that's very funny. Yes, I kept away. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the very director. Interesting. Yeah, the yes. director gave me, you know, it is really, very yes, lovely conversation and I, I that I think have, the families you know. I stayed with uh, in Bedford, uh, uh, I think uh, re relationship uh, g uh, grew mm -hmm. between us. Uh, they, they had two children, Clayton yes. and Shireen, and the landlady, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Audrey and her uh, husband. Uh, so, so uh, uh, relationship, mm -hmm. human relationship. Yes. Uh, when I came back for many years, mm -hmm. we used to you know, contact That's exchanges really, and so really on. something very nice. And the same was nice uh, Lancaster things, yes. University, because to, we, we live with families, as yes, you know, yes, to, to, yeah. to listen to native yes, speakers using their language. Yeah. A very great experience. Yeah, of course, yes, of course. Yes, and yes, really, yes. really, unfortunately, you know, the director gave me a sign that oh, we are running I'm out sorry. of time. <laughs> sorry. I was, okay, really, okay. Thank, thank, thanks a lot okay, thank for you. joining me and having very nice conversations. Uh, thank you so for having me and uh, my gratefulness for uh, Castle TV. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, don't go away. We still have...